Hey everyone, this is Samuel R. Saber and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. We are happy to have you here. Today, as you can see, I am bringing you guys Half-Life 2. And just like I did with Half-Life 1, I am going to play this without mods so I can experience the original Half-Life 2 experience. Though I will admit I had been on the bench for or whether or not to try a, a particular follower mod, if you know what I mean, yes, that's the one I'm talking about. But I don't want to spoil anything. Anyway, that's not important. I am actually kind of excited for this. I heard a lot of good things about this game for over the years, and I'm actually looking forward to see it for myself. Again, I haven't been trying to play it because... I mainly play free to play games and yes pretty much that anyway like I said before I am excited to try this bad boy out I got it during the sale on the Thanksgiving last year <laughs> and yes I'm finally excited all right with nothing else left to say let's head on in Oh, and for the record, I am going to have subtitles on, and so I can actually hear what they're saying, and I'll be like, what did they say? Or get confused. Especially with those Carbon guys, and like, because some of the dialogue, it's just confusing to hear. Again, I never played this, but I have seen a few. Rise and shine, oh. Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well... Let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Uh, it's on a loop. You have chosen okay. or Hang been on, chosen to relocate to one of our final ish okay. uh, administration. I don't know if I did the in the citadel so far provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay, and once a door, or I, they, they never leave. On you never see them go. They're always home. full. No one ever gets Welcome on, but they're always to city they're always departing, but they never arrive. It's safer here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Okay, I missed a lot apparently. Or is this how things have been? Wait a minute. Where are you taking me? Me? Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Them, you have like chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our earlier. finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so carefully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. So, whether you are here to stay uh, or passing okay. through on your way to parts on the way, welcome to City 17. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. That's concerning. Pop, pop. that beer I owed you. It's okay, me, what? Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. Where I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, oh. Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. You're one okay, of those... Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Okay, okay, okay. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Anyway, as... And, um... Basically, as I was thinking before, um... That was one of the sign. Oh, this is different than how it was in the first game. But anyway, as I was saying before, that was one of the scientist guys from from one of the many <laughs> similar faces from the Black Mesa boss. I was actually wondering where he where he said that I was with. How he was actually familiar with me in that first game. I couldn't remember anyone from Barney. Then again, there weren't any main characters other than Gordon Freeman. Though, so they're making references to that, to that scientist guy who is from the Wistine, I'm probably betting that he was one of the many the clone guard, security guards. Crouch up. Right. Okay. Good to know. Your question touches on what the basic <laughs> of the world is. With all 
our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision saying. for mankind? That guy up there. Will they ever deactivate the suppression for the next again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concern, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left. As a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural priests. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that left upon the cavern walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from change what is and progress. About? Instinct, therefore, must be expunged. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exorcised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing field will be shut off on the day that we have mastered ourselves, the day we can prove we no longer need it. And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority, is close at hand. That is concerning on many levels. And not for the perverted kind. Like, one. Uh, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed just to say it. But, two. Main reason is suppression field? Like, how do you suppress that bird? Huh. Before we go out there, let me go over here. Nope, nothing. Like, but let seriously. me read a letter I recently received. Dear Dr. Green, why has the compound seemed fit to suppress how do you think it could escape? Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for writing, sir. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses. With all its associated hopes and that fears for the future of the species. I just noticed it. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right no to make decisions for mankind? Will they ever deactivate this I should probably avoid those spots. They look like checkpoints. Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, what the? Has a spot over there. there. Yes. Yes. 
from others. From seeing like videos of like Gmod from back in the day. About these guys. What is going on? What is this? Yep, more clones. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. If you're looking for a place to stay, you better keep going. Notice something a little utter concerning. Where are the kids? Because this is a playground where kids are supposed to play, and that again, what I they said earlier about suppressing the about suppressing the reproductive instincts I, I don't know how to listen to this debate with a weird but this is making me think about XCOM no matter how they and what happened to all pretty much every single cow was all along with Avon Burger He's one of us. Look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Doesn't seem like it. Take it anymore. Something's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? We'll think of something. Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Citizen notice. Priority identification check in progress. Assemble radio detection. Attention. Get in here quick. Keep moving. Head for the roof.
Dr. Freeman, I presume. I have no idea who you are. I'd like better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Whoa, did she do all this by herself? Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. <laughs> I'm sure he don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. Nope. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. Red letter day. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. Sorry. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. This is really the time. Dr. Brain's Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Okay. Find all Lombata caches. Sorry, this is a little problem. Blast that little. Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh oh, everything alright, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost alright. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. Okay, that incident with the whole... I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. Not my fault. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. Cat? There's nothing to be nervous what about. Cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. Here we go. Ah! What? Damn it, what the? Get it off me! Is that one of the... Yeah. Dilly, Lamar, dilly, dilly, dilly. There you are. I thought you got rid of that pet. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> I do not blame them. And why do you have one of those things on the head? Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Seriously, why do you have that thing as a pet? Let me look up what that thing's name is. Head crab or something? Yeah, I remember you have a pet crab. Yes. I have no idea what I'm saying about this. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. 
Now let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Is it this thing? I want the black paint to provide more energy. Well, come on. Dr. Kleiner's waiting. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my work. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is, is it? Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? You're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. This field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to base and LT orbifold. No particular conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Visualizing in three, two, one. No, fiddle sticks. What now? Uh, doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right, Gordon. Would you mind plugging us in? You didn't even notice the plug it's was right on there, board. Gordon. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Okay. Oh, it happens automatically. Okay. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all Izzy, the credit. Izzy. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring to Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. <laughs> all right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank Final you. sequence.
Maxim press F for what I usually use for a quick. Hey, game. Gordon. Where? 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 Oh, there you are. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Okay, oh. Enjoyed using this against the demons to do. Against the. Again, for you don't know, I have the Half Life weaponry of mode 1 and 2.
Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. 
You're not the first to come through here, by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Um... Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Give me a good reason not to shoot you. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same. The protection team. Status invasion. Keep going. Yeah, I'm very confused about that guy. I remember a whole bunch of them trying to kill me.
We have confirmed reports of man hacks. Repeat, they're filling the underground with man hacks. Man hacks? but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive. Thank you. 
Yeah.